Facebook Live, Facebook Live. We have a ride. One more time, y'all. Let's, uh, let's get it in. Let's get it in. Hallelujah. Wait for y'all to chime on in. Logan, good to see you. We was having connectivity problems uh, this morning. T. <coughs> hot T, too. Who was that hot? But I needed him. Hallelujah. <coughs> Wait for the most hot to illuminate me, y'all. Tell me what we're going to talk about. Um... Barbara, good to see you in here, young faithful. We got Teresa in the building. <coughs> Hallelujah, Thank you, Yahoo. Don Deems in the building. As y'all slowly come on in. <coughs> got Leilani and the babies and Samara in the house. Young Judah in the building with uh, Melissa and Frank. Elder Yosef. Got, got mother in here as well. Hallelujah. Thank you, Yahuwah. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. <coughs> Shabbat Shalom. Um, Matty Yahoo, nice talking to you earlier today. Always a pleasure. Got my mom in here. Hallelujah. Yeah, look like I'm going to have to switch the Verizon now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh. Hallelujah. Bless you. Hallelujah. <coughs> Hallelujah. How you doing, sweetheart? Are you good? He's in there. <laughs> That's my girl right there. Beverly, Beverly, good to see you in here. Hallelujah, Mother Katie. Good to see y'all. Um, um, okay, let me do this. This is not what I want. This is what I want. We about to get started, y'all. Hallelujah. Let's go to uh let's go to Luke, y'all. Luke the ninth chapter. Luke 9. Something about the name of Yahusha. Something about the name of Yahusha. 
excited about the Shabbat coming together on this, um, this is Watchman Derek, y'all, the Israel, also known as Pastor Derek, on, what's today's day, y'all, the 26th? Oh, yeah, I think it's 26. 26. 26th day in uh, November? November. November. Uh, 2022? Is that what it is, sweetheart? Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. 22. <clears throat> um... I want to show you all this. Uh, Luke 9 and, and 57. I'm going to show you another angle of this. Luke. Yeah, Luke. Luke 9. Gotcha. Luke 9. Shalom, shalom. Feel better, Ak. Today we praying for you. Look at this. Um, Luke 9 to 57. Y'all with me? And it came to pass that as they went in the way, a certain man said unto him, Master, I will follow thee whithersoever thou goest. And Yahushua said unto him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man have nowhere to lay his head. Y'all heard that? And he said unto another, follow me. But he said, Master, suffer me to first go and bury my father. And Yahushua said unto him, let the dead bury their dead. But go thou and preach the kingdom of Yah. And another said, Master, I will follow thee. Well, let me go bid them farewell, which are at my house. And Yahushua said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of Yah. Right? I want to deal with... Um, the importance of what we do. Because whether y'all know it or not, that was a description of what we do. We're bringing eternal life to a dead world. We're born in sin, shaped in iniquity. And you can tell by the climate and the level of evil in the world. It's, it's out of control. And they ain't nowhere finished. They, 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 no, nowhere finish <clears throat> and so there's so many different lessons can be pulled out of this and I pulled out a couple but um, this particular angle is a man came to him and said I'll follow you where do you go where wherever you go right I wish I can see you better but it ain't no biggie. I'm just saying. Oh, can you see? Oh no, can I'm fine, mother. You need light. No, no, I'm fine. No worries. Um, but a man come to him and say, "I'll follow you." You know wherever you're going, right? And like I told y'all before, I tell you again, that disclosed what this Catholicized world. This, this Catholicized church world will present as uh, bad witnessing. 
he um he responded, I'm homeless. <clears throat> now I respect that, right? Because if that man had an ulterior motive for following him, right? Mm -hmm. If that man had an ulterior motive, he just killed it. Because you got people that will follow you because you got a bunch of likes or a big ministry. On a digital level, you got a bunch of subscribers and a bunch of likes. Come on. A bunch of action going on, and they want to be a part of something happening digitally, right? Cyber world. But you also got folks that will join your ministry because you got 5,000 members. And they like to look in the parking lot and see nice cars, see, look like y'all doing things, y'all going places, right? <clears throat> you can make a phone call, and you know, and 3,000 jokers show up in purple. Come on. And they say, well, you know, 3,000 to 1 ain't gonna hurt. You know what I mean? They have an ulterior motive, right? You got some folks to come to the most high because you got big numbers and, you know, they might want a man or a woman. Derek Hughes, good to see you in here. Are y'all with me? But you got folks that have ulterior motives of why they follow the, uh, uh, the most high, right? Well, when this man came to him and said, I'll follow you anywhere, good to see you in here, Mother Katie. Beverly, good to see you in here. My mom, good to see you. But he killed any fleshly advantage, any fleshly desire, any anything other than roll your sleeves up and get to work. It's really what he said to him. I don't know if y'all can see that in there, but he really said, foxes have holes, birds have nests, but I'm homeless. So you following me means you down with the word and the word only. I'm not finna lay out no big old nothing fleshly jumping off here. Son, good to see you in here. Make it plain. Make it plain. Right? Because fo folks, when you carnal, literally, people come to the most high for a reason. The average person. Come on. And those are the ones that will leave him come on. when that need ain't met. I came for a reason. Y'all look prosperous. Got lawyers and doctors up in here. Man, I might mess around and get a job. You know what I'm saying? People come for a reason. It's very seldom that you have people that come for the basura, for the for the gospel, for the word. Right? Marital problems, financial problems. You got folks that be, you know, got a warrant out for their arrest. You know what I'm saying? And they come to y'all, you know what I mean? Work it out for me. Ulterior motive. He said, well, I ain't got nothing for you but the basura. What they call the gospel, the word. That's all I got. Are y'all with me? Now look at this. And then, and, then, and then he said to another, follow me. But he said, let me, let me first go bury my father. He said, let the dead bury the dead. Was he saying, don't go bury your father? No. I mean, come on. Right. No. What, what, what was he letting it be known is you can't come up with an excuse or you can't come up. You don't can't start. <laughs> Excuse me. You can't think of nothing equivalent to or more important than the word. That's what he was saying. You tell what 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 you finna go do? What what, what you finna go do? What what are you gonna go do? What you what you about to go do? You gonna compare it to the Basora? What you don't like the way people look at you? I'm going off a little bit just to let you know, cause people will leave y'all because they ain't getting along, or somebody gave them a funny look or something, some old dumb stuff. Are y'all with me? Y'all listening? Y'all with me? People, people, people leave the word. It reminds me of when the Messiah was dealing with the disciples in Yachanan, John the sixth chapter, right? 
And he told the whole crowd when the ministry was growing, he told the whole crowd, except you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you have no part with me, right? The people got offended. And they said, man, I'm not following this dude. This is a rough saying. Probably looked at him like he was a cannibal or something, but this is a rough saying. I'm not messing with him anymore. So they began to leave. So he looked at his disciples and said to them, won't you two leave? And I love Peter's response. He said, where are we going? Seeing that thou hast the words of eternal life. Because the only reason why we should be gathering right now, I'm not saying we're not cool. I'm not saying we can't get together later. I'm not saying that we ain't going to put no meat on the grill or call each other. And hang. I'm not saying that. I'm saying, I'm saying what he's saying, right? And what, and what he's saying is don't come with an excuse because your excuse is never equivalent to the basura. To the, to, the, to, the, to, the, to the what they call the gospel, to being reconciled with the creator. There's nothing more important. And there's nothing on planet earth that can be compared. And when you can compare something to the word, something wrong with you. You're proving that you're carnal. You're proving that you have not transformed from, from, from death to life. We need to be transformed from death to life. Not transformed from a worldly person to a church person. Come on. I said being transformed from death to life. Yes. Being transformed by the renewal of your mind and you walk away with your own personal relationship with the Most High. To the point that the Bible is more important than your schoolwork. Oh, yeah. mm -hmm. The Bible is more important than your college work. The, 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 the Basura is more important than your money, your job. The word is more important than your mama. Come on. Don't you talk about my mama, your mama. <laughs> the word is more important than your mama. <laughs> word is more important than your daddy. Come on. Daddy, daddy and them. Come on. Daddy and them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. yeah. This is what he said. I'll tell you what he said. Don't get mad at me. I'm just a messenger. That man said to him, uh, 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 let, the, let the dead bury the dead. I'm just going to tell you the truth. Are you with me, uh, uh, Ms. Richardson? Listen. He said, let the dead bury the dead, right? He's not saying don't go have a funeral. What he's saying is, why you say that? You can't compare that to what I said. You can't compare nothing to what I'm doing. I'm coming with the with the word of eternal life. This place is filthy. What's the name of that company? They had the little kids with the with the with the with the little teddy bear with, with the bondage clothing on. No, but 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 uh come on, somebody put it in there. Denise Wilkins, good to see you in here. Um they they, they own, I believe, Gucci and all that. They, they, they're the uh, Kim Kadar Kardashian is with them, and yeah, they're 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 a real prestigious, big name, uh, a fashion designer, and they had ba they had little kids, they had little kids, uh 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 uh, uh Alamo Jones, good to see you in here, Banks, you with me, Bland. Long time, niece. Good to see you in here, though. But listen, they had um, they had some little kids, some little kid by like seven years old, holding teddy bears, and the teddy bears had on, you know, that type of clothing, that sadomasochist, uh, sexual, you know, they be putting on leather and putting apples in their mouth and all that old bondage gear. The, the little baby teddy bears had on bondage gear, right? That ain't it. And then they had a purse. They had a purse uh, with some, um, oh, yeah, uh, uh, ba Balencia. Balenciaga. Balenciaga did it. Y'all need to boycott them devils. But listen, I'll tell you how evil this stuff is. Balenciaga, did you know or you looked it up what I was talking about? Yeah, Balenciago had little kids with teddy bears with bondage gear on, right? 
That ain't it. In the in their ad, they had Instagram ads, so it can get to the kids and stuff, right? But in in, in the ad, they had paperwork, a, a purse with some paperwork on it. If you zoom in on the paperwork, it was the paperwork of a court proceeding, of a wicked court system that overturned pornography protection for children. That was the paperwork they had. Are you listening to what I'm saying? The paperwork that they had, listen to me, the paperwork that they had was the paperwork of them overthrowing laws, listen to me, I'm trying to teach, overthrowing laws, listen to me, overthrowing laws that protected children. They had that in the ad. So they had little kids with, with, with teddy bears with bondage. Are y'all with me? Now, that lets you know the direction that this place is going in. That lets you know the direction that this wicked place is going in, right? Mm -hmm. And you got to understand that that this place is so wicked on so many levels. I, I can talk about all kinds of stuff. These, these folks want to talk about uh, uh, Kyrie and the tweet. Listen, Kyrie did a tweet, and then all the folks had an uproar about it, right? All these wicked folks mm -hmm. and all these sellout Negroes, right? They had an uproar about it, right? When the document that he said was true, that these that these people are not <clears throat> Semitic in the first place. According to Genesis 10 and 3, they're Japheth. They're not Shem. We are. And so for them to pull the card anti-Semitic, they're saying they're us, meaning they stole our identity. Because according to the Bible that they claim they get their validity from, says they're the seed of Japheth in and of itself. But you got folks that will uproar. Why did the heathen raise, the Bible says. You had the people that had an uproar about a brother tweeting some truth about the Most High revealing in these last days that our identity was stolen. That's not hate speech. That's the truth. Hate speech is trying to stop him from doing it. Hate speech is uh, 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 you trying to shut his mouth for telling the truth. That's that's hate speech. What? 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 Or Unless we live in the times that they call evil good and good evil. But there was an uproar about that. Where is the uproar about uh, uh, these wicked folks? Come on. With this uh, child pornography. Come on. This pe uh, 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 which how you say it? Pelphanelia. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, 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 Pedophile. I know a pedophile, but they, they pedophilia. Is that how you say pedophilia? Pedophiles. With anyway, so much for that. But 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 the key being the direction, the the level of sexual sickness that's happening on Earth is unbelievable. So, what's more important than the Basara? What is what can be equated? If you can see the camaraderie and the wickedness, meaning there is no outcry of Balenciaga, there is no outcry. There's always an outcry against righteousness. There is an outcry against the synagogue of Satan that say they are Jews and they're not. The Bible said there is a people that are going to say they're Jews and they're not. In fact, not only did he say they're not, he said what they really were, the synagogue of Satan. And if you look at the owners of these companies, it's them. Oh, uh, mute your fuel, mute, mute, mute your phone, please. I hear me playing in the background. I appreciate it, but mute your phone because it's it's causing 
a problem. Thank you. Okay, cool. Pedophilia. That's what I was trying to say. But mute your phone, son. <laughs> Pedophilia. That's what I was trying to say the whole the whole time. Anyway, are you with me? And so, and so, if we look at Satan and his children, how they stick together, because they understand that a kingdom divided against itself can't stand. A kingdom divided against itself can't stand. And they understand that. That's why there's no rally cry for, for the truth of the matter is these people are sexually sick. They've been running sexually sick agendas because now you've got the bestiality folks stepping up too. And they want to have a right to have sex with animals. So you got pedophilia. These pedophiles finna get their thing going. You got the bestiality thing going because you didn't open up the floodgates. There's markers that you don't move, you don't touch. There's certain levels of wickedness you stay away from. Well, it ain't none now. You didn't open up the floodgate and even you got Christians, Christian pastors and stuff that's back in this, calling that, that sickness love. Pushing it. They got their rights. They got their rights to go to hell. They got their rights to go against y'all. They got their rights, but, but now they pushing their rights on you because you wouldn't stand up for y'all and his word. So what possibly could be more important or equivalent to his word? What? So when he came to him, you had the first guy again that came to him and said, I'll follow you anywhere. That's not a bad thing. He was just letting him know if you had any other, any other inkling of an agenda other than pushing this truth, you following the wrong dude. Because I'm homeless. If you got an ulterior motive, you better off following the fox because at least he got a hole. Come on. Get you go buy you some wings and follow that bird over there because at least he got a nest. Because I don't have nothing but the basura. And then he looked at somebody else and said, now you follow me. And he said, he said, uh, 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 suffer me to go bury my father. He said, let the dead bury the dead. What, you going to compare that to what I'm doing? What can compare to what I'm doing? What I'm pushing? You say you want this? Well, this is what it is. Are y'all with me? What verse am on, y'all? We're on 62. Or? No, we're not. We, uh, let the dead bury the dead, 60. And Yahushua said, let the dead bury the dead, but go thou and preach the kingdom. See, the comparison analysis was preaching the kingdom. I'm just trying to show y'all something. The comparison analysis to him going to bury his father was the Basora, the gospel. He said, instead of that, go preach the kingdom. Do that mean don't go do that? No, he's he doing a comparison analysis. Is y'all with me on the comparison analysis? If y'all with me on the comparison analysis, put a three in here. If you understand, this is a comparison analysis, three. All right, y'all with me? And another said, Master, I will follow thee, but let me go bid them farewell which are at my house. Right? Okay, well, let me hit it. And Yahushua said unto him, no man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom. The kingdom of Yah. Okay. So somebody else was willing to follow him, right? But they had a, but first, I talked that the other day, a little while ago. But I'm not coming from the but first standpoint this time. I'm really coming from the importance of what we do. And when you don't understand the importance of what we do, that will cause you to say, but first. See, people believe they justified when they spend more time at work. Seeking secular education. 
And the education here is a lie anyway. And the only true education is the word. And the only true history, because it's true, they 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 devils, but they said his story. At least they told the truth about that. Mm -hmm. Because history is his story. And his story is a lie. His story is not true. His story teaches white supremacy. Mm -hmm. His story is into divide and conquer. His, his story will have you a slave. See, whenever there's wars, colonizers going around conquering and colonizing, mm -hmm. you're going to get the story from their standpoint. Mm -hmm. Just like when you're a colonizer, you'll say Christopher Columbus discovered America. Mm -hmm. And then you'll have your nice Thanksgiving meal <laughs> based on a straight up lie. On top of the grave of little girls that got raped by this pedophile, little boys that got raped by this pedophile, mm -hmm. and all the children that got sold to England into uh, 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 sexual trafficking. Mm. On some Christopher Columbus. Listen, it depends on who wrote the story, mm -hmm. his story. Are you with me? So when you in high pursuit of his story, his money, his stuff, Ryder, good to see you in here. You might want to run this one back from the beginning because it's juicy. <laughs> but when you go off of his story and you're in higher pursuit of money, you're in higher pursuit of fame, you're in higher pursuit of stuff over the Basura. You haven't transferred from life to death. You haven't transferred from death to life yet. Because you don't even understand the importance. Are you with me? You got you gotta you got you gotta understand the importance. Good to see you, Dante. You got you gotta understand the importance of what you're dealing with. Good to see you in here, uh, nephew, Tian. You got to understand the importance a comparison analysis because that's all this is. This is a glorified comparison analysis that's going on. If you're going to follow me, I'm homeless. So, so, so what you want? What do you want? What, why are you here? You here? You, you, you what, what do you, what, what are you here for? Which goes back, I'm going to tell you every time, which goes back to the Messiah saying, I come in my father's name and you receive me not. If another come in his own name, him you're going to receive. When you're not down with Yah and what he's talking about, you're going to reject truth and you're going to receive a lie from his story. A lie from some woman, some man. You, 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 the, 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 the deceitfulness of riches can creep in and choke the word out of you because you don't know the importance of the word. And when you don't know the importance of the word, right, you, 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 you'll sell out. The Bible says, buy the truth and sell it not. Are you with me? The Bible said, buy the truth and sell it not. Are you with me? Why do you think the Bible say that you got to know that he's one? Because it ain't number one word, y'all. All these other religions, get it out of here. Ain't no many paths. It's only one word. And you got to love that word with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. You got to know that he's one, that the most high is one. And you got to love him with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. Why? So you won't take somebody else's word. So you, so you, so you don't, when you get delivered from this place, when you get delivered from this place, you, you get delivered from their ideology and their lies and his story, his point of view. There's a way to seem right unto a man, but the end of the ways of death. You get rid of his story and yours. Yeah, blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the unyali, under the influence of some devilish stuff. Under the influence of freaky behavior, under the influence of money. Under the influence of, uh, of the lifestyles of the rich and famous, you would do a comparison analysis. You got sellouts because some folks want a man better than they want y'all. Want a woman more than they want y'all. They're, they're in high pursuit of a relationship. That's what they live for. That's why they're not faithful to y'all. 
because they're in high pursuit of something else. I'm trying to tell you something. So in this little group of scriptures, he's doing a comparison analysis to ain't nothing can come out of your doggone mouth that can compare to what I'm doing. Hallelujah. Ain't nothing you can think of in a fallen world dealing with fallen people. A place where jokers will, will ain't satisfied with you with using you and you spent all your money and sent them to, to Cabo, Mexico. Is that how you say it? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Paid for the villa, paid for everything. Got a personal chef. Got your own wine cellar. Got got a personal swimming pool and all and they, they had all kind of activities that they didn't pay for, but that wasn't good enough for them. How the level of wickedness we dealing with that I would, we so the, the jealousy is crude in the grave. We gonna kill her, mm -hmm. and you think something is more important than the basura, <clears throat> where the manager will come in and just start shooting and killing folk, where they about to put heat on folks claiming their ID back. You know we coming for our ID back. And it ain't us that's doing it. It's the most high. The most high the one that told Ezekiel to write it, uh, 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 to prophesy. It's written in the book, Ezekiel 37. And he told him to prophesy, prophesy to him. Tell him who they are and whose they are. This is Yah's doing. Ain't nobody going to be able to stop that. But they're going to turn up the heat on it. <laughs> and you got to know the truth because you'll sell out what Yah doing with your Christian self. You'll sell out what Yah's doing. Yah's the one that's waking up his children, his bloodline people. This ain't no skin doctrine. You didn't call it a skin doctrine when the white folks claim to be the people. Why didn't you call that a skin doctrine? Because you're deceived. You didn't call it a skin doctrine that when they painted the Messiah white, you didn't complain then, did you? Picture of a homosexual, uh, uh, Caesar Borgia. You didn't complain then. Painting melanated, now it's a skin doctrine. And the joker that's called a skin doctrine got skin like the Messiah. With your sellout self, Shaq fool. <laughs> Come on, talk back to me. What's more important than the Basora? Than the word of Yah? Than any truth? <clears throat> To, to, to uncover a lie, you, you got to be a hater. You anti what? Anti Satan, anti lie, anti death, anti darkness. I'm anti uh, 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 child pornography. That's what I'm anti. To tell the truth. And the Bible says you should know the truth. We're seeking for truth. You should know the truth. The truth is what's going to make you free. Oh, talk black to me. Y'all ain't with me today. Listen. So the 62nd verse then says, we're in Luke 9 and 62, it says, And Yahushua said unto him, No man having put his hand to the plow and look it back is fit for the kingdom of Yah. Look at the wording that he used. No man having put his hand to the plow. What does that mean? What is a plow? <clears throat> Talk back to me. <laughs> What's the plow? What's the plow? Putting the work in. Work. Putting the work in? What's the plow? Putting your body into the work. Because folks ain't working for y'all, they're working for themselves. Come on. Ezekiel, uh, the third chapter, last part of the third chapter, uh, the Most High was telling Ezekiel to. Sh uh, 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 they're going to be tripping and shut a, shut your mouth. Mm -hmm. And then it's going to be a point in time that I'm going to open your mouth. Do you know what that represents? Mm -hmm. yeah, if only y'all knew. If only, listen, you, you jokers that be listening to the word and won't do it, you don't even know how blessed you are to hear it. You don't even know that's his mercy for you to even have an ear to hear what the Ruach said to the Ecclesia. But you know what he did for folks? Y'all get this, because I'm it's getting deeper and deeper as I go. But listen to this. What he said, again, in Matthews, the 13th chapter, Mark 4, what he said, combine those together when you study them, the soul with the soul, right? But what he said was, 
that when you disrespect him and don't appreciate him talking to you, he'll talk over your head. He'll talk directly to you, but it ain't going to be for you. He said, that, so the disciples asked him and said, why do you speak in parables? Get the revelation. Why do you speak in parables? He said, it's seeing they may see and not perceive. And hearing they hear and won't understand. Least they be converted and their sins be forgiven. The word comes to convert you and you end up with eternal life. When you disrespect the word, it's not going to convert you. You ain't going to even understand what he said, even though you heard everything he said. You saw what he did and you heard what he said and you still dead. Did y'all hear what I said? Yes. You heard what he said and saw what he did, but you still dead. You heard what he said, but you still dead. You saw what he did and heard what he said, but you still dead. Are y'all with me? Because if you look at if you look at Luke, look, that's where we are. If you look at Luke 9, listen. Luke 9, right? 57 through 62. If you look at that, he's doing a comparison analysis of the word to any excuse they might come with. And the first dude didn't even come with an excuse. He just shot him down. And he let him know, I'm homeless. So either you got a revelation of how important this word is, or you ain't going to follow me. Do you have revelation how important this word is? I'm homeless. Now what you going to do? You still want to follow me? That's all he was saying. And whoever would allow him being homeless to be the reason you ain't fit for the kingdom is what he was saying. Are y'all with me? Whoever think that it's more important to go to a funeral, you ain't fit. That's what he really was saying. You think, if you think it's more important to go tell folks at home than to get the word for yourself, you ain't fit. Now go tell them at home. But you ain't fit. Because you can carry the word and still not be fit for it. Talk back to me. If y'all understand what I'm teaching, put a four in here. I ain't stopped. I ain't done yet. <laughs> put a four in here if you understand. What y'all is trying to say. What the, what the, what the Ruah is saying to the Ecclesia. <laughs> Are you one of them that got an ear to hear what the Ruah is saying to the Ecclesia? You ain't fit to the come and go folk. That's why some of y'all hotel got pictures of Egyptian stuff on your Facebook mm -hmm. because you don't respect y'all. You don't respect truth when it comes. So now you spiritually goofy. That's why you screw. That's why you cuss. That's why you get drunk. That's why you get high. That's why you worldly as heck. And as the world turn, this place is getting worse and worse and worse. And so is you. Having a form of yalliness, denying the power thereof, because you didn't buy the truth. The Bible said, buy the truth and sell it not. And the only way you're going to buy it is if you know how important it is. And the only way you're going to know how important it is, you got to be a true believer. And a true believer is willing to be baptized into his death. Yeah, who you was is baptized into his death. Romans the sixth chapter. Who you used to be is baptized into his death so you can rise up to walk in the newness of life. I know I'm teaching today. I know it's y'all. <laughs> uh-huh. It's a comparison analysis. When he said you got to love, you got to know that he's one, Right? And you got to love him with all your heart, mind, soul, and strength. When he said that, he didn't say that to be boasting. He said that because it's necessary. Yeah. Some folks can listen to the word and say, oh, that was a nice message. And then go finish screwing and getting high. Finish, finish cussing. Finish living just like a devil. Like this Catholicized wicked system. 
a child of this system, a child of the power of the prince of the air. And the power of the prince of the air is promoting sexual perversion, sexual sickness. That's why they had them little kids with the little uh, teddy bears in the bondage uh, clothing. Balencia, did I say it right? Balenciaga, however you say it. Balenciaga. That's the place we live. The place you live, we the true shamanic people. But the place we live, you can't say that. Not in this wicked place. And you got folks that's more important than money. That money is more important to them than the word. So they ain't going to say it. I said it. Saying it again. We the people. And it's the most high that's waking us up. According to Ezekiel, the 37th chapter. Are oh, y'all with me? Uh-huh. And if you look at him saying, listen, he said, he said, no man having put his hand to the plow. Okay, you put your hand to the plow. You put your hand to the work. Are you with me? You put your hand to the work. Because it's a work to be done. It's a plow. It's a work. It's not your plow. It's not, it's not up to you to work for yourself. The, the Bible teaches a kingdom divided against itself can't stand. The reason why what they doing is working, because the devil stand together. Yeah. The casting couch, when they, when they got these sellouts that sell their soul for rock and roll, to sell their soul to be on the silver screen, to sell their soul, they all on the same page. They'll throw a, a grown ghetto dude a uh, 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 Hebrew, they'll throw you on the casting couch and they'll film it and they'll have you doing all kind of stuff that you'd be embarrassed of until they finish indoctrinating you into a real devil, but they, they got enough stuff on you that where you're going to keep your mouth shut mm -hmm. so y'all can be on the same page. Mums the word. <laughs> Mums the word. You ain't going to say nothing. You ain't going against them. They got secret society. The secret is we the people of the book. That's the number one secret. Mm -hmm. Are y'all with me? Mm -hmm. And number two, you're going to be quiet. You're going to be quiet or you're going to get blackballed. You're going to get put out the inner circle. They're going to get rid of you. Mm -hmm. Get a certain amount of money in you and then, and then they want to kill your parents and all, kill one of your children. You got to sacrifice a family member. Now, dims, we live with some devils. I'm talking about the ones that say they are Jews and are not. I'm talking about the ones that own the silver screen and own the record labels and own all this satanic stuff. And they got enough nerve for you to say something against them. And in all their products, they say something against the true shamanic people. That's how they're making their money. That's how they made their money, selling the shamanic people. They sold the shamanic people on the boats that the shamanic people was on. Yeah, it's them. The ones that got Judah singing. Ghetto, low-class, thug music. Come on, talk back to me. But the thug is the one in jail. The thug is the one on the news. Cause why? Because they own the news. <laughs> they own the jail. Back to me. Y'all ain't ready for this. Yeah, y'all ready. Some of y'all here. Are y'all with me? <laughs> So he said, he didn't put his hand to the plow, right? You get, you get to know Yah. He started telling you the truth, right? He could talk over your head. And if you spit this message out, he probably going to go back to talking over your head, right? Mm -hmm. You still ain't going to be faithful to Yah. You still ain't going to do what he say. You still ain't going to obey. That means that you proving to Yah that you're not fit for the kingdom. I'm going to tell you the truth this morning. Right, Shaul got so frustrated with Judah, right? He said, I'm going to the Gentiles, which was the northern kingdom that, that, that was scattered first, that was scattered from Assyria. He said, I'm going back to them, right? Because he came to Judah and they went here. He, when they went listen to him, you know what he said? He said, you count yourself unworthy of eternal life. 
Q, what it do? Good to see you in here, man. We're in um, 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 Luke 9, uh, 57 through 62 now. We're in the 62nd verse. Are y'all with me? Listen. When you count yourself unworthy, listen. The disciples asked him. I'm going to tell you again. David, good to see you in here. He asked him. He said, he said, uh, he said uh, why do you speak in parables? I thought they was going to like correct him. Do you know you, people don't understand what you're saying? <laughs> they thought they was giving him revelation, right? Or they need, they really wanted to know. But listen what they said to him. They said, why do you speak in parables? And he turned around, looked them dead in their face and said, that seeing they may see and not perceive, and hearing they may hear and not understand. At least they be converted and their sins be forgiven. You know what that means? They, 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 they didn't come with sincere love for the word to the point that they was willing to be converted. Converted. You know what would happen? This is what the word come to do. Convert you. Did y'all know that? Did you know the word came down 75 generations from the garden, stopped at Abraham to pick up faith, the necessary ingredient to be mixed with the word, and then left him and came down to the birth. 75 generations to be born, a human being, to live the perfect example and then down that tree for you and me, rise again with all power, the body, and then come back without the body to be baptized in us to lead and guide us so that we can be converted. Change from death into life. Change from darkness into light. Are y'all with me? That's the key. So he's speaking parables to those that do not want to be converted. There's people that listen to the word, but they don't want to change. They want to screw. Care what y'all say. They want to be on drugs. Care what y'all say. They want to be a drunk. Care what y'all say. They still going to continue to cuss and act a fool. They don't care what y'all say. So he told us, listen to in Matthew 7 chapter, look at what he said. He said, give not that which is holy on the dogs, neither cast thy pearls before swine, lest they turn, hate you, and rip you to shreds. Mm -hmm. Look what he said. This is what he told us. This is what the Mashiach told us. Listen, if he told us not to give that which is holy on the dog, because they're going to do the fool anyway, and they're going to do it directly to you, what makes you think he'll do it? <laughs> oh, I'm talking to you today. He won't. That's why he said I speak in parables because I'm not giving that which is holy on the dogs. Do you know the word is only revealed to them that want it? That's it. Yeah, I can preach this and then we go on, you go home and still act a fool. Still get drunk, still cut, still screw. Still screwing your buddy wife. Still, no matter. Ain't nothing going to change. Another day at the office. Still man hungry. Can't, can't you leave y'all because you need a man. Boy, I need a man. Oh, I need a man. Oh, I feel him now. I, he ain't even here. I feel him all over me. I can see him. I just feel it. <laughs> Woo, I feel him. He out there somewhere. I just... I'm finna get ready to go. I don't want to y'all make y'all too mad. <laughs> it's still the truth. You gotta, you gotta dig deep because some folks got a stronghold. I just see him. Oh Lord. <laughs> Woo! Talk back to me. How many y'all getting mad? Put a two in here if you're getting mad. Listen. No man having put his hand to the plow. What does the plow represent? Do you know um, there's a work to be done? Did y'all know that? It ain't just here to listen to the city and listen. For, did you know everybody working? On the sound of my voice, everybody working towards something. Every day, too. They working to get their money up, get their sex life on, get their club life on. Stacking their pieces, they nickels. Mm -hmm. At least you're honest, son. Now change, and you won't be mad. But I'm glad, and, and I know that too represents you mad at yourself, and you should be. That's why you need to repent and do it quickly. Mm -hmm. Straight up. The devil been trying to kill you, and the Most High been merciful to you. And you're still here because of his mercy. 
And he definitely right. used me tremendously in your life to save you and to rescue you. Most high used me to keep you free. That's why you free right now. Yeah, because the most high been using me, your dad, in your life, helping you. Amen. Repent. Amen. Before I can't help you. I'm doing everything I know how to help you and to pray for you. You need to repent. And I pray you do it now. Back to the lesson. Listen. There's a plow. Listen. He didn't put his hands to the plow, meaning you agreed to work for Yah. That's when you put your hand to the plow. And looking back mean you regret working for Yah. Because folks is working. Everybody, so am I. Everybody's working. But who you should be working for is Yah. That's right. This is a wicked, Yah forsaken world we in. You want to talk about the CERN? I'm not going to talk about the CERN right now. But that joke is spinning right now. You want to talk about pelf uh, 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 pornography and child pornography? Pedophilia? You want to talk about that? You want to talk about men with men and women with women? Or you want to talk about people laying up with animals? What you want to talk about? Or you want to talk about all of it? Because somebody, what are we doing today? A dog, puppy in trouble. What are we doing today? If we ain't finna grab on each other, let's go get one of these animals. They can't fill out a police report. <laughs> Some of these kids can talk. See, dog, he, he barking and trying to tell you. You don't know what he talking about. <laughs> you always gonna have me, son. Period. I see what you're saying. But listen. He didn't put his hand to the plow. You should be working. And you shouldn't be using Yah to put a, 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 his business, a thin picture of his business on your business when you're really working for yourself. I keep telling y'all, those of y'all that work for Yah work with the body. And those of y'all that work for yourself work for yourself. And you just say it's for Yah. Yeah, I said it. Because it's true. The body should be functioning. The body should be functioning. Love you too, Big Sean. The body should be functioning. And we all should be working. Every last one of us should be working for Yah's body. As opposed to your own little catty-cornered ministry that you can put his name on it. Yeah, you're going to say Yah got you doing this. You ain't faithful to y'all. Y'all ain't got you over there baking biscuits for everybody. Uh, blueberry blessed biscuit business yeah. that you just started. Yeah. Blueberry biscuit but, butter blessed. <laughs> blessed. <laughs> Get out of here with yeah. you. Y'all told me to bless these biscuits. Yeah. $2.99 a dozen. You, the, the devil is a lie. It's your unfaithful self. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, folks, it's crazy. hey, you the one to see you crazy. God told me I saw a biscuit. My grandmama's recipe. <laughs> Is y'all with me? <laughs> Be faithful to Yah, and he might he might bless the biscuits. He might. If, if you if if you if you if you if you working for Yah and you with the body and you selling biscuits, you might be uh helping the ministry have a youth ministry. Now you working for Yah, right? But you can't say you work for Yah and all the money and stuffs coming to you and you unfaithful to Yah. You forsake the assembling. You don't do nothing. Y'all say it's you and y'all against the world. You're a hustler. You just a, a oh, go on with that. Go on with that. Go on with that dumb stuff. It ain't gonna work here. Not in this ministry. And ain't I expose you? Get mad? Leave? Take your biscuits with you? <laughs> 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 I might buy a dozen if they're good before you go. But <laughs> give me some milk. Yeah. <laughs> I, don't, I know somebody got some blessed milk out there to go with it. Just inbox me. But look what he said. I'm going to go, y'all. Listen. Look what he said. 
He said, no man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom. Don't, don't get to know Yah. Listen, don't get to know Yah and the difficulty associated with being with Yah. Because it get difficult. It, oh, it's, it's big self-denial. Oh, I'm trying to tell you something. You're doing it, uh, Taylor. You're doing it because you're faithful. And all you need to do is just allow the word to continue to, tra continue to transform you. It's, so it's something as simple as you post the scriptures that I, uh, I, I say a scripture, you, 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 you post it. You're just doing whatever you know how to do working for Yah. Now it'd be different if you come up missing next month and then I see you and you didn't find the ministry that's paying you 50 cent a post. Then you're working for yourself. You you follow me? Now, now you got business cards. We'll post we'll post for money. I don't know. But I'm being funny a little bit, but at the end of the day, the word come to transform us and then we want to work for Yah. And then let's let's let, let me explain something. You you got me really explaining, so I'm gonna explain better. Let me tell you this. The issue becomes the fact that um you need some, some. I hear myself. I don't want to hear myself. The, the issue is this, y'all, is that a ministry has to be governed by someone y'all anointed and appointed that is proven to be faithful. It, do y'all understand that? That's proven that they're not going to lay up and be screwing. That's proven they're not going to get high and drunk. That's proven that they're going to be faithful to their post. If if the ministry, if the word is supposed to go forth five times a week, six times a week, seven times a week, whatever it is, a person is supposed to be faithful, proven to be faithful. That's why the Bible tells the elders to give this duty to people that are proven to be faithful, not just in attendance, but in your character. So when souls start coming to you because you know the word and you're able to teach like the Bible tells you, you got to be apt to teach. But you're going to be there. You got folks that's really working for themselves, want to blame it on y'all, and they're not faithful. They might be faithful for six months, might a year. Two years gone by, they left y'all. Because if you look at the sower, went to soul, right? You look at it, there was four stages. Three wasn't good. The first stage was the word came and Satan was able to take it immediately. The second stage was they lasted a little longer, but people start coming against them. They went in the in crowd no more, turning their back on them, a peer pressure, and then they quit. The third tier was I've been working for Yah for so long that he owed me something, so now I need to get paid. And the Bible say then the deceitfulness of riches and other the lust of other things come in and creep in and choke the word, and then they become unfruitful. That that process, the third tier, it could take 20 years before a person finally say, I've been working for y'all for so long and I ain't never got nothing and, and ain't nobody getting, this ain't working, and they quit. So the fourth tier person, the one that went through all that and still held on. Back to my point. Y'all blesses people like he blessed Moshe. He blessed Moses, Right? Let Moses know that he going to be used to deliver the children of Israel. Moses tried to do it the first time. He was in his 40s. He tried to do it the first time on his own and got ran out of town. He wasn't ready. Does that mean there was no call on his life? Yeah, there was a call on his life. He just wasn't ready and he did it wrong. He got ran out of town. When he came back, he was ready. And he came back with his name, with his true name. Okay, so now I'm back to, and, 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 and so Taylor, you're already doing it. You are literally transparent, honest. Probably just two weeks ago, um, three weeks ago, a month ago, you was cussing, ready to whoop everybody on Facebook and everything. Jokers couldn't play with you or nothing. And you don't play that. You're a real one. And with that being said, you're changing. The word's changing you. And what you know to do, you're doing it which is something as simple as you, I did not request you to post scriptures. The most high is leading you to start doing it. Keep doing it. And he's going to keep growing you. And as he grow you, he's going to continue to use you. 
and then eventually it's going to be recognized. And then you'll get anointed and appointed to continue to go forth, provided you were faithful during the process. I answered the question in completion. Y'all with me? Back to the scripture so we can get the heck up out of here. Listen, that's why, you know, there's people in this ministry that got abilities and skills. They're just not doing it with the ministry because they still work for themselves. And I don't mind saying that. I don't even mind if they get mad. I just pray they get right. Back to the point. Ha! <laughs> Listen. He said, let me put these glasses on and get ready to go. But you heard the saying, quit while you're here. Listen. Who should sit on him? No man put his hand to the plow and look it back. It's fit for the kingdom. Put your hand to the plow. You want to work for y'all? That's good. Pamela, good to see you in here. Bless you. You put your hand to the plow. You got a desire to work for y'all. Start doing it. Real talk, as long as you faithful to y'all, though. If, 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 he not a come up. He not a come up. Some people use him as an aphrodisiac. You know what I mean? Use y'all to try to get a man or a woman. Ah, oh, it's the truth. Y'all's attractive. Anyway, listen. No man put his hand to the plow. You're working. And look back. You're not fit. If you quit. You, you, you said, I, I got to know y'all, he, he's rough. That's what they said in John 6. Y'all can in the 6th chapter. Oh, he talking too tough. I'm leaving. <laughs> this ministry is small because of the way I preach. Because <laughs> I don't preach for money. And the majority of y'all don't give a dime any dog on way. <laughs> Tell you the truth. Which is cool too. But... A person can get to know Yah and what it really take, the sacrifice, how we're cursed as a species, and the only way you're going to make it is you got to be baptized to his death to rise up to walk in the newness of life. So the old you is baptized to his, to his death, and then you rise up obeying him. And what he tell you to do nine times a ten, your flesh ain't going to want to do. That's why you got to, if any man come after me, he said, if any man come after me, let him deny himself. Listen. <laughs> take up his torches, take and follow me. Don't you think for a second that since um, I've been saved, married, don't you think for a second I haven't been tempted to commit adultery and I speak for my wife? Because she has too. And everyone else, I don't know nobody that look at the opposite sex like they don't look good. We, we've lived in such sick times that... Um, uh, uh, folks same sex think each other look good <laughs> anyway don't think I didn't get mad and want to fight don't think I don't like to drink I love to I want to drink now anyone got one I ain't gonna drink it so don't waste your time but at the end of the day I had to love y'all for his word over what I'm talking about my wicked nature we all was born to sin and shaped in iniquity and when people get to know that they got to leave themselves, some people ain't willing to do that. That's when that's when the trouble start, Taylor. Literally, when you decide you're going to follow him for real, that's when everybody going to want to fight now. Folks, they're going to talk crazy to you now. Ain't nobody scared. Folks used to be scared of me when I was growing up. They didn't want it. Now ain't nobody scared of me. <laughs> hey, look. Hey, one of my boys... Hey, 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 I, look, 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 I was raised, I raised Carmelo. I raised Carmelo. I ain't going to go that far. But anyway, I'll just say this much. Uh, uh, one day, r r real talk, since I was a preacher, I was hanging around with Carmelo. And he just looked at me out of nowhere. He just looked at me and said, hey, man. I said, what? He said, I ain't scared of you no more. <laughs> I just start laughing. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> I ain't gonna bust a grape anyway. <laughs> you might win now. Who knows? You know. But when you when you submit to Yah, listen to me. When you submit to Yah, it go down, and you got to be willing to let it go down. His word. That's what we just read. His word is the most important. Way more important than anything else you can even think of. Are y'all with? Way more. If y'all agree that the word is more important than anything or anybody, including yourself, put a five on it. Put five in here, y'all. Put five in here. Hallelujah. 
give y'all praise because he's worthy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Five on it. Put five on it. I love y'all. I love y'all. Hallelujah. Oh, I see the five too. Five on it. Hallelujah. I love y'all. Hey, how many of y'all want to grow? Come on, y'all. Let's grow. Let's grow. In. Let's do a work for him in these last and evil days. The first work we need to be done is in ourselves. You don't, you don't need to be bum rushing, trying to do a big ministry when you're still cussing, still screwing, still, you, you know, drink too much, still. Ain't nothing wrong with drinking. It's not a sin unless y'all told you not to. He told me not to. Oh, I need to go talk to him about that. <laughs> anyway, he told me not to. So. <laughs> oh, I feel like crying right now. Oh, my feelings is hurt. Anyway, back to it. Um, he told me not to, so I don't. But um, I forgot what I was saying. I just got caught up on drinking. It just went blank. <laughs> what, was, <laughs> what was I saying? What are we going to do uh, to submit ourselves to yeah. Yeah, but 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 we need we need, we really need to submit, y'all. We really need to submit to the Most High, and and get with Him for real. Because as quiet as it's kept, and it's not that quiet. This is life and death here. Good to see you in here, Gene. But this is life and death. This is real. This is no. This is ain't nothing realer than this. And I'm telling you, each and every last one of us is choosing who we gonna be with. Either we down with Him or we not. It ain't that middle stuff we trying to play. Play, pray over your breakfast, pray over your lunch, and try to be politically correct and cool. Nah, that don't work. Hey. Little charity, that don't work. No, 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 no. You got to be baptized to his death. It's appointed unto a man once to die, and then the judgment. And if you didn't die in him, you're going to die for yourself. And you don't want to do that. You want to die in him. Take his death. Be baptized in his death so you can rise up to walk in the newness of life. And once you rise up to walk in the newness of life, grab that gospel plow. Grab that plow. And don't look back. Don't give it up. I don't care how hard it get. Sometimes you might have to cry. And, uh, and real talk, some of us going to have to die. Some of us might end up dying for it. You don't, you don't want to die in the streets like a fool. Feel me? You, you, if you die, you want to die in him. Is, is that all right? Mm -hmm. He's worthy. Give y'all praise because you're worthy one more time. We out of here. Thank everybody to push, push the share button. Thank everybody to tag. That tag and will grow a ministry if I if I learn how to stop running folks off. But <laughs> uh, thank everybody for uh, pushing the share button. Thank everybody for tagging. And thank everybody that financially supports this ministry. If you do financially support this ministry, it's definitely because this ministry is spiritually supporting you. If the ministry is spiritually supporting you and you ain't giving, you out of pocket. How about that? Mm -hmm. Did we pray already? No. no. Let's pray. Spirit of the Most High, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you homies. We know how. Glean the truth of thy word. Thy word is truth. Continue to illuminate your children. Quicken us. Make us alive. Wake us up to the true uh, responsibility of the Besora. Nothing can be compared uh, to your word and to your mission in these last and evil days. Illuminate your children, cause us to give up the flesh, to learn how to walk in the Ruah, walk in the spirit, and we'll continue to walk in the spirit. We will grab the, 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 the Besora, the plow, and we will uh, take the responsibility of your word in these last and evil days and the distribution of it. Uh, keep us, dispatch your detection text and about us and keep us safe as we continue to do your bidding. In the matchless name of Yahushua, we humbly pray. Hallelujah. 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 That, that was a lesson. That was a lesson. Y'all continue to pray for me as I pray for you. Any of y'all want to team up and do something for him, want to start working in the ministry, call me, let me know. If you're a male, call me. You yet ladies, call my wife. Call, call my wife. Is that all right? I love y'all. Y'all be Baruch and Baruch and Shalom. I'm gone.